Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to create negative space within a background. This technique is very useful. You can use it in a variety of projects, but it is absolutely essential if you want to create a template for a die cut metal wall art sign. And we are going to do it using free web applications. You do not need to have any expensive software installed on your computer. And if you want to learn a variety of design techniques and tips and tricks that you can utilize with uh, free web applications, then please do subscribe to my channel because that's what we are specialized at here. And let's begin. The first part of our design process is going to happen at canva.com, which is a free web-based design application. Here I am at canva.com and I already have my template set up. It's an empty template uh, with the dimensions of 3600 by 3600 pixels. And that's the dimensions that T-Launch requires for their metal signs. And now let's start designing. Let's say I want to create a round metal sign that features a family name, the Smiths, on it. Uh, let's first create the basic shape, basic round shape. For that, I'm going to go to Canva Elements Library. I'm going to select this circle. I'm going to enlarge it so that it fills the whole template. And I'm going to change the color to black because that's how our metal sign is going to be and it helps to visualize how the metal side is going to look like. Now I'm going to add our text which is which is the smith and i want it to appear on different lines like this and i also want to use different font i'm going to use horizon font for the top part as well i'm going to make it slightly larger and center it i also want to add a couple of cute elements which I'm also going to find in the Canva library element. I want to use this dog paw. It's going to appear as black, but I will change the color to white. Make it smaller, place it on top. And I also want to use a cute little heart. This one. And again, make it smaller place it here in the bottom and change the color to white. I want to change, I want to have all of my elements in the same color because again, it will help you to visualize how your metal sign is going to look like once you turn everything within your sign into negative space. And that's the purpose of our uh, video today. Okay, we have now design, we have our design now, please do not do not judge the quality of the design here because my purpose is to show the technique behind turning the elements into negative space. So I'm not focused on the quality of the design so much here. Now we just need to download it. And I'm going to download it in JPEG format. It doesn't really matter. I'm downloading it. And for the second part of our design process, we are going to move to a different application. And I'll see you there. For the second part of our design process, we are going to use a web application called PhotoP. It's located at photop.com. I'm going to write it down in the description of the video. And once you enter the website, it will suggest that you open a file from your computer. So go in, go ahead and open that JPEG file that we saved from Canva. I have already done that in order to save us some time. And this is how it's going to look like once you open the file. From here, we are going to select this tool, which is, go, which is called Magic Wand. It's a simple but very powerful tool, and I don't think you can find it in any other free web design application. So it's very valuable. So once we have selected it, I'm going to click on this white corner now, and you see what happened. It automatically selected this whole white area. And let's say our circle was smaller and there would be white space uh, between the border of the template and the border of the circle. In that case, 
our tool would select this whole white area. But because there is this black border, it have it has selected only this corner. So one, so we have selected the corner. I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. And that's what happens. This whole white area just turned into a negative space. And I'm going to click every other corner and delete it. And now we have our negative space as a background. We still have these elements within the circle. But the process is the same. You just click on it and magic wand selects uh, the area of the same color. And then you just click delete. And the same with the letters, select and delete, select and delete. We can speed up this process slightly by pressing shift on the keyboard and then selecting every element that we want to turn into negative space. So that um, pressing the shift button allows us to select a group of elements. Once you have selected all of them, just press delete. And there you go. They all turned into negative space. And the last step is to simply save this file in PNG format. format. And that's very important because PNG format recognizes negative space and JPEG does not. So you click file, export as PNG. And we are going to see this uh, new pop-up. Just click save. And there you go, your file is being downloaded. And if you wish to proceed and create a metal sign out of it, you have your template now and you just go to T launch panel and upload your template. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's, it's all for me for now. And if you want to learn more interesting tips and tricks and techniques that you can use as a designer, in free web applications, please do subscribe to my channel because that's what I'm specializing at. Thank you. Bye.